This is a teardown of the Tag In Pro model AFG 4. Category P1, which I don't know what that means. 3.5 second delay. It is a airsoft flashbang like device, but it also is a like device. Anyway, first thing I'm going to do is remove the ignition assembly from the charge inside of this device because that makes it less dangerous we have it this is a strap wrench if you've never seen that before one of my favorite tools of all time if you really want to impress a bunch of people and <laughs> if there's ever an opportunity for you to make us an improvised strap wrench out of your belt i would highly recommend it because it's thoroughly impressive Happened to me once. I was like, hell yeah. All right, so I cracked that glue seal, and I am removing this. Oh, look at that. It all came out together this time. Okay, so let me zero this first. Okay, so that's at zero. Wow, this is quite aggressively. All right, so this is this is interesting, right? So this this powder here, right? So it's it's a little bit tinted red. It's not flash powder. We know that at least due to the um, color. Now there's a tinge of red, and it is very oh interesting. One point three grams. Huh, the other one that I disassembled was exactly one gram, 1.0. So this is, hopefully you can see it. Um, it is very coarsely mixed, which is interesting. And I think that's done intentionally to um, kind of decrease the sensitivity and and the rate at which this goes off. Um, it's tinted a little bit red because there's likely some a small amount of iron oxide. This is these are all my hypotheses because I couldn't figure out what this was based on its its flowability or its flow. <laughs> what is flowability? Based upon its anti-caking, right? I'm gonna assume there's magnesium carbonate. Plus, it feels very slippery, like like uh, magnesium car carbonate mixes do. They have that signature kind of soft feeling um, I think it's tinted red from a trace amount of iron oxide which may be used as a catalyst in this in this reaction here but what's interesting is it is very coarsely mixed and there's some some chunks in there that um, you know it's kind of unusual generally pyrotechnic mixes are, are thoroughly mixed to increase the uh, the rate at which it combusts to maximize that, but it might be done intentionally. So um, first, I'm gonna put this aside away from the igniter and any other ignition sources. Get rid of this big boy. And then I'm going to demonstrate this. So I'm going to pull this pin out and then release. All right, here comes a spoon. Woo! So it's literally quarter inch firework time fuse. It's the exact same way that I make my igniters, which is interesting. I did not, I feel like they copied me except they did it first. <laughs> um, the body of this fuse, it's a turn on CO fan. Okay. The body of this fuse assembly is very similar to that of either an M228 or an M201A1. So the 201A1 is on a the, the M18 smokes, right? So it's... So you can tell by the spoon, right? The spoon was is almost an... Ex well, I mean, it's a little beefier because it's plastic. You know, it's... Um, 
it needs to be a little thicker. But it's a very similar, you know, spoon style, right? Um, a few things right off the bat that I noticed. All right, so this is the angle. The angles are very similar. I mean, there's no secondary hole. This, by the way, I believe, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but the M18 smoke devices are meant to be, um, well, they, they're, they can be used in the field with if you can remove the fuse in the field, right? And you can ignite it manually in the event that you're in some sort of improvised situation where you need to save these fuses. There's an O-ring on it with a gasket, well, a, a gasket, I should say, um, to allow that fuse to be removed easier. And there's also a secondary hole here on the fuse assembly, which allows you to remove the pin when of the arm device, remove the pin without um, obviously releasing the spoon, and then you can put your pin through this hole, and that will prevent the lever lever arm from striking the primer if you're for some reason disarming it. And now the distance from this lever arm resting on top of this pin, the distance from that to the striker. Pin, uh, to the to the primer is not f great enough for it to ignite. So if you were theoretically to remove that pin, then it would already have that potential energy out of the equation. You know. But anyway, that was one interesting thing. Here's an M228, um, and it's a very similar style. One interesting note on almost all of these fuses is that the hole on this side, the side where the cotter pin is flared, is larger than the hole on this side. And that is to to allow, it's, it's to facilitate, it's to ease the pulling of the pin because that cotter pin has to fold through a, a smaller um, diameter. This is now discharged. I'm going to push this through. I'd be surprised if I could do it with the little pin. I can. Pushing this pin through. I'll say these are exponentially more or better made than the Nola Gaze that I've dis um, disassembled. The tag and brand beats Nola Gay in that regard. Alright, so that is removed. This spring is removed. This striker. Interesting note here, or one interesting thing to note is that this lever arm has a rounded striker, which I thought was really interesting because it reduces the chance of injuring hands. Now, what they do, you'll see, is really clever. I'm going to split this in half, and I'll be right back. <laughs> this was terrible. It was totally not in half at all. But um, I left my bench vise at my buddy's house last night because I had to cut some wooden... I had to cut some of these bad boys. And by some, I mean it took us like an hour to do one of them for an epoxy table I'm making. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so my vise I left at his house, which I'm really not happy about. All right, so if we look at this... So I was saying that this rounded hammer here on this arm uh, is to prevent injuries because these little buggers can hurt. So these, these have a nipple on them, a striking nipple thing. I'm making up these words, by the way. Um, that's actually pretty sharp and can hurt if it hits you on the top of the nail especially. Now that comes down and strikes this little guy, right? So I'm going to pull this out of this side. All right, so this is actually two pieces here, right? I'm going to pull that one out. Okay. So this this converts that rounded piece to a 
to a striking pin, which will create enough because it's sharper. It'll re it'll create enough pressure uh, in the ignition composition that is enclosed here. Oh, geez. All right. See, so that strikes down and hits this. This composition burns and then ignites this time fuse. So my quarter inch time fuse burns at 2.4 seconds per inch. Um, this, I don't know what this burn this burns at because it does take, there's a delay from when the spoon is released and it strikes the ignition composition. There's a delay there that ignites this powder core inside of this time fuse. I'll say very well designed and well made in comparison to Enola Gay. Much better quality device. I have no freaking idea what this stuff is. I can kind of guess what it what it what some of the components could be, but I'll tell you I was really expecting just a standard flash powder mix. And they do not post this stuff publicly. That's their proprietary blend, their safe pyrotechnic blend. So, here's how this stuff burns. <laughs> it's very hard to ignite. And it burns incompletely. See? And it's still not even... It's still not completely burned. So, there you go. There it goes. So, I think that this needs to be aggregated like consolidated to burn and possibly under pressure under confinement um it is not it does not burn freely it 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 appears to need confinement to really kind of burst or explode um we're going to do a cross section of this device of this section here but first I'm going to dump out these bad boys <laughs> These are dried peas. <laughs> Ta da! So we have a rigid cardboard body tube, and then these are this is a very hard foam. Um, anyway, that's how this works. Let's go see how this performs.